All right, we had another question. Uh, why did you name your church Antioch? It's a very important question uh, for me as a church planner to answer and for us as a church to answer because our name should represent us as a group. And so first and foremost, I didn't want to pick a name that was incredibly common within churches. And there aren't tons and tons of Antioch churches out there. Um, there can be a lot of baggage when it comes to even the word church or Jesus or Christian, like, oh, those people or those groups. And so I didn't want that to be a barrier when we talked about the specific name of our local church. So that's the first reason. The second thing is um, Antioch of Syria, that the historian Luke talks about in the book of Acts in the Bible, is very similar to Los Angeles and even Highland Park in a lot of ways. So a couple things in particular, Antioch's a very ancient city. Highland Park's one of the oldest neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Um, so that's a commonality that I find. Um, it's the second, Antioch was the second, or excuse me, the third largest city in the Roman Empire during that period. Los Angeles is the second largest city. It was a very, pro both cities are very prominent. Both cities were incredibly diverse. Both cities had race riots that took place. Um, and, uh, and so those are some of the similarities between the two. So that's the second reason why I picked it. And those two aren't nearly as important as the third reason. So there was a church that the Holy Spirit started in Antioch and there are two specific aspects of the church that we want ours to embody so we want to be like them in two specific ways for one the church in Antioch that Luke talks about um, was incredibly diverse ethnically and culturally this is not something common in a lot of churches and this wasn't something common um, even back in the day for people from a lot of different races and cultures just to get together and be united under one thing and so we're actually going to read from Acts 13, verse 1. Luke is talking about the church, and he says, Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manan, a lifelong friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. So even as I read that, it might not strike you as, oh, wow, those guys are all so different. But... If you had kind of an ancient lens on and, and, and you heard those names and you knew their backgrounds, you would immediately recognize that these different men that are following Jesus, that are a part of this church plant, grew up eating different food, listening to different music, had parents that probably wouldn't have got along with one another. They came from different cultures, different peoples, different parts of the world, and they all came to this, this city that drew people from all over the world. And they were a part of a church that God wanted to start. And we want our church, Antioch of Highland Park, to resemble that. We want to be diverse. We want people to feel welcome regardless of what generation they are coming to the States. We want them to be welcome regardless of what their skin color is, what language they speak, how well they speak it, if they're bilingual or the only, it did, all those different categories that we put people in. If you are a follower of Jesus, you're welcome to our church as family. And if you're not a believer, we would hope that as you come on Sunday or even meet us on the streets of Highland Park, you would know what it's like to experience the compassion of Jesus Christ as someone that respects a person regardless of their background or what they came, where they came from. It's very important for us. And the second thing about the church in uh, Antioch that we want uh, to be a big part of our heart is that they were ascending church. And so check this out in the next two verses of Acts chapter 13. So while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So we have this group of multi-ethnic leaders coming from completely different cultural backgrounds in a really complicated, messy city, but an important city. They come together and the Holy Spirit not only planted the church, but said, now I'm going to use Antioch to be a sending church. And so from Antioch, it was a platform for world missions for Paul and Barnabas. How amazing is that? And it is our heart, even though our church is like 11 months old, we want to be sending people out into the world, out into different little boroughs and areas of Los Angeles, but also into people groups from, from, uh, uh, from people groups all over the world. So now we have a guy on staff that wants to go plant a church in the Philippines. There's another guy that's going to go to 
be a missionary and help plant churches in the Tokyo area within the next five years. And even now, an 11-month-old church plant of 65 people is trying to figure out how to embody the vision to be multi-ethnic and to send people out for the cause of Christ into cities and the world. So that's the answer to the question. If you guys have any other questions, please email us at question at antiochhp.com.